all right y'all what's going on it's combo breaker 99 i'm back with another video all right y'all back with some fight announcement news here haven't talked too much about this fight on this channel because it is kind of far out but i just wanted to do a real quick video and give you my thoughts on this one this is a good fight another good flyweight fight in the flyweight division uh it's going down what for ufc 283 january 21st we got lauren murphy making her return against the big hitter jessica Andrade. and when i first heard about this fight i was like uh-oh it's going down, man. We got some we got some big action going on. Jessica Andrade, you know, she's that one fighter that's just running it. You can call her like the tweener right now, pound for pound tweener. She's what ranked number she was ranked number four across the board from straw weight to flyweight, but now I think she's like number six. But still, you know, Jessica Andrade, you know, she's no slouch. Um, Lauren Murphy, uh, you know, she's trying to make her run back. You know, she's uh getting up there in age. But she's been trying to make some improvements and still hold her spot down in the game. Um, I actually wanted to see Lauren Murphy versus Tyler Santos. Y'all know that was the fight I was talking about. I wanted to see Tyler Santos versus Lauren Murphy. And I wanted to see Jessica Andrade just make her return back down to 115 because I think that's her best place right now to, you know, even get close to getting the title shot. You know what I mean? Um, you know, because we all know Jessica Andrade, how she looked against her Valentina fight, just looked completely outclassed outgunned in all all aspects of the fight you know so i think i still think straw weight is good for her maybe this is just like a you know stay busy fight for her. you know every time she needs like you know a check or she just needs to be a test for one of these flyweights you know they call her up boom she's there right so i think that's what it is for a flyweight i don't know if a title shot's ever going to be in the making for um just Andrade again but um as y'all know lauren murphy since her uh Lost to Valentina Shevchenko. She made a comeback win over Misha Tate, which I, I figured, you know, that was a fight that she was going to win because I knew she had the striking and the ability and just natural strength at 125 to beat somebody like Misha Tate who was moving down. So that was a good solid win for a good confidence builder. Uh, Jessica Andrade since uh, her loss to Valentina. She's uh, two fights removed from that one uh, with two first round finishes over Cynthia Cavillo and Amanda Lemos. So that just tells you that, look, this girl ain't missing a beat. Valentina is just on another level. Andrade is still Andrade. You know, that's the saying around here. Andrade is still Andrade. She's still a killer. And that's what somebody like Lauren Murphy has to look out for. Now, Lauren Murphy, she's big. She's strong. You know, she's big for the flyweight division, but she makes the weight. You know, she's ripped. You know, she has those muscles. But Jessica Andrade is Andrade. The one thing about Andrade uh, I do like about this weight is it's not too small for her. Like, the weight cut's not too rough. And she's not too small for uh she's not too small for uh like well for bantamweight bantamweight's what i'm saying like it's right in the middle you know it's right in the middle for you know she was too small for bantamweight and sometimes the weight cuts could look a little rough for her at 115 so she's kind of meeting right in the middle where um the weight is best for her her size and her frame you know not too rough of a cut so when she feels out at 125 you know her her strength is a little bit more present and the power is more present as well, you know, if, if she's fighting anybody other than uh, uh, Shevchenko. So going into this fight here, I think she's going to be natural for it. Uh, she's going to be rough. She's going to be tough. Uh, this is going to be a test for Lauren Murphy to see how how far, you know, Lauren Murphy's fell and how far she's come back from her last fight. Uh, Lauren Murphy has some decent boxing, good kickboxing, but, you know, the defense, the defense is not the best. You know, she gets hit a lot. You know, let's just be honest, you know, body shots, whether, whether it's Andrea Lee, uh, JoJo in those fights, you know, of course, Valentina, she gets tagged. You know, Misha Tate was able to tag her as well, you know, so she's wide open for shots, but she'll give some back, you know. So I think going into a fight with Jessica Andrade, her main thing is to be a little bit cleaner and use that jab. You know, Jessica Andrade, her kryptonite is still the jab. So Lauren Murphy, I think, you know, she tightens up on her boxing here, you know, keeps them uh, hands tight, uh, keeps those elbows tucked you know, protect that body, you know, she could win on points here if she just keeps moving, you know. Um, I know she's big, but it could be a problem if she lets Andrade get the clinch on her. You know, Andrade could take her for that ride. You know, like I said, 125 is kind of a strong weight for her. You know, it's kind of a strong weight for Andrade. So she has to be careful in there with those takedowns. So keeping the fight on the outside is her best bet. Uh, you know, don't try to trade because I know if she trades, it could be lights out. You know, I, I, I see Andrade stopping Lauren Murphy which before Lauren Murphy stops Andrade but Murphy could do it though I mean if she catches it from the outside and you know she puts on if she's able to put on you know a good countering clinic and that's a big if you know she could stop Andrade so um 
yeah, good fight. Good fight all around. I think it's going to be an explosion here. I don't see it going the distance. Not at all. But uh, it's going down. UFC 283. What do y'all think? Jessica Andrade versus Lauren Murphy. Who do you got winning? Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.